Okay, PC Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part number 40 of The Sims 3 Generations. This will be the final part of the Let's Play. And I just wanted to show you all that I just got this notification. Let the trumpets blare from above. Sophie Grisby and Anthony Grisby have gotten married. So Sophie is officially a married woman, and she married this dude named Anthony. So yeah. Alright, I will be skipping. In, uh, yeah, I'll be skipping. <laughs> And they've gotten to move under the same roof, apparently, so they are living together now, which is awesome. So, yeah! Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you all that I invited Violet and her husband over, and Sophie and her new husband over, and I'm not going to lie, he was an extremely hideous sim, so I, uh, fixed him up. <laughs> because, just saying, I've never seen such an ugly sim in my life. And I've seen some pretty darn ugly sims before. It was absolutely terrifying. But anyway, Daniel is going to boast to this dude, Mr. Anthony, about his grandchildren while Violet's over there playing on the computer and Sophie's awkwardly standing there watching her father meet her new husband. Um. <laughs> but I want to get a screenshot of this because that's just what I want to do. Oh, apparently they both graduated from the same place. What is this? Why did Sophie just change clothing? Sophie? Why did you just change? What's going on? Um, Jared has left work and Christina got paid for her time off. Alrighty, and this one needs to get some food and some sleep and he will do that after. Oh, Sophie's gonna go use the pool. That's fine. That's totally fine. Yay, Emma learned how to Never talk. Fan freaking tastic. <laughs> and Daniel is going to be showing him little Elijah. So cute. And the reason I know it's Elijah is because it just showed a baby picture. And that's the only baby who is their grandkid right now. All the others have grown up into toddlers, including Violet's kid. And I don't know where Violet's kid is since both of her parents are here. I honestly have no clue. But anyway, let's see. What's Christina doing? Okay, Christina finished teaching Emma how to talk. <coughs> Excuse me. So now Emma and Mr. Tommy over there are just wandering around. And where's Jules? What's Jules need? Oh my goodness, she's really hungry and super tired and she's stir crazy. Well, we're gonna have to fix this, right guys? <laughs> Oh goodness, what were you going to do? What were you going to make? Oh, you were just going to get some cake. Alrighty, well, I will be back in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so it is now Tommy and Elijah's birthday today. So as soon as Jules is done loving up on the little guy, I'm going to have her come downstairs with him and have his birthday. And then after that, I'm going to be taking, um the grandkids and the grandparents out to the park since they'll all be children and toddlers then. And let's see, where is Tommy? There's Tommy. Alrighty, so it is Tommy and Elijah's birthday today. Oh, goodness. Christina, let's put those waffles in the fridge so that they don't, um, you know, get funky on the floor. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Gotta love sim logic. Oh, hi, Mr. Fluffs. Mr. Fluffs is going to eat food. Ew, you're not going to drink from the toilet. That's gross. You can totally groom Morgana and play with her. That is perfectly fine with me. And she wants to groom him and play with him as well, so that's fine. Alrighty, Jared. You need to wake up, buddy. Okay, he's bringing Elijah downstairs, which is awesome. And it looks like Christina has little Tommy. Alrighty, so I am excited to see what Elijah's going to look like as a toddler. And I'm especially curious to know what Thomas is going to look like as a child. Oh yes. Aw. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Elijah. And Tommy too. Yay. This is so exciting, you guys. Yay! Now is where the real fun begins, you guys, with these grandkids. 
And this is why I wanted to skip a few sim days. As you'll notice I have, because in the last part it was Monday and now it's Thursday. And I did that just so that I would be able to do more with the kids on their last day of the let play. Come on. Come on. Come on boys, age up! Become a toddler and a child. This is exciting. And this one's learned all his toddler skills. Um, Emma knows how to talk, but I still need to teach her how to use the potty and how to walk. Oh my goodness. Did Diana just have her kid? Because if you recall, Diana was pregnant. Yes! Kevin is now the father of a new baby boy. Diana just gave birth to a baby boy named Wyatt. Interesting name, but okay! Cool. That also means Christina is an auntie because, if you recall, Kevin is her brother. And that's interesting. Elijah is invisible! The days have flown by and Elijah is now a toddler. Yay! Oh my goodness, what are you wearing, child? What are you even wearing? And it looks like he is the spitting image of his mother. Oh, he's in a bunny suit. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh man. Okay, what about you, uh, Mr... I keep calling him Jared to myself, but Tommy, he looks so much like his father, it's kind of frightening. Oh my goodness, and Christina's carpool is not actually coming because she's still on maternity leave. But her husband's carpool is indeed coming. And whoa, why is your mood so low, buddy? Holy cow. Uh, you need to get some cake, dear. Go, um... Go eat cake or something. I don't know. Where's the cake? Can you eat this? There you go. Grab a slice and then go to work. That ought to help. And then while you're there, why don't you hang out with your team members to get your social up? Alrighty, what's this now? Okay. What the heck? Jared, what's your problem? Oh well. This child just aged up into a child. Oh my goodness. Yay, I get to choose his trait. And let's see, he is a brave genius, and I was thinking of making him be a doctor when he grows up, so... Hmm... I think I'll make this kid be ambitious, because I feel like that makes sense for a doctor, because it takes a lot to become one, you know. Alright, Tommy. Tommy, my boy. Alrighty guys, so I will be back once these two have their appearance changed and the grandkids and the grandparents are off at the park. Okay you guys, so Daniel was just promoted to department head, which is absolutely awesome. And as soon as he gets home, I'm going to have him and Julia and all three grandchildren that are in this household go on- Oh my god. Oh god! Nah! I don't know if I have cheats on, but I'm going to use some right now because I don't want Morgana taken away or Mr. Fluffs or my gird. Ah. Oh goodness. And there won't be anyone here to take care of her. That's the only reason I did that. Oh goodness. Ah. Minor heart attack. Don't mind me, guys. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, and there's Christina's new everyday outfit. Oh yeah, she'll be here. What am I talking about? Dang it! Oh well. Whatever. But there's her new everyday outfit now that it is summertime. And let me see. I'm going to have this one, Mr. Thomas, change into his everyday wear. What's this? You want to take a class in the logic skill? Eh, I guess so. I guess. Is Daniel home yet? Daniel, are you home yet? Where are you, Daniel? Daniel? There you are, buddy. Come on, waddle on indoors. Waddle on in, mister. Waddle on in. There we go. Alrighty, now you need to freak out to get all that stress down. And then we are going to head over to the park that is literally right across the street with Elijah, Emma, Julia, and with, um... No, not Mr. Fluffs. <laughs> Where did Tommy go? There's Tommy. And with Tommy. Okay. There we go. Now, what are you doing, Christina? Okay, you're eating cake. You, mister, need to be at work. You're skipping work, dear. Oh my god. 
buddy, you need to go and uh, work out in the gym now. Oh my goodness. Jared! What in the world is happening with Jared right now? Oh goodness. Well, I'm gonna get this Jared situation fixed and then I'll be back once everyone's over at the park. Alright guys, so they all just arrived at the park and yes, I know it's evening time right now, but oh well, it's okay! <laughs> So Tommy is going to go swing on the swings and play on the playground equipment while Julia and Daniel are going to take the two little ones. Oh, why the heck did the game decide it's a date now? Um, holy crap! Is that Bambina? No, wait, come back, dear! No, 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 no! Are you Bambina? Aw, dang it, it wasn't Bambina, guys. Do you remember Bambina? Bambina was in, like, part five. <laughs> but anyway, oh my gosh. This is fantastic, you guys! So, the grandparents and the grandkids are out here at the park on a nice, beautiful little summer night. Just hanging out, having a good time. Aww, so cute! Let's see, I'm going to uh, walk over here, excuse me, Mr. Tommy, so that I can see Julia and little bitty Elijah on the little bumblebee spring rider thing, which is extremely cute, if you ask me. Aww, it's making such cool noises! Wish I had one of those when I was a kid. <laughs> Aw, man! That looks awesome! These stems are spoiled! But hey, that's what being an elder in The Sims is all about, and in real life too, right? Getting to spoil the grandkids! <laughs> That's what Daniel and Julia are doing right now. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> they look like they're having so much fun. Aww, that's adorable. That is adorable. Yeah. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Here, Julia. Let's see, what's that one need? Does he need to be fed? I think he needs fed. Let me check. Ha! I was right. My intuition was correct. Alrighty, let's see. Daniel, why don't you teach this little one how to walk while we're over here? And let's check up on Tommy. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up here on the, um, whatever the heck this thing is called. Jungle gym type thing? Thingy? Thingy, thingy. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. While she waits for him to finish that bottle, she's going to be calling up her daughter Violet and see what's up with her and the other grandkid, Sophia. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see, what's Tommy gonna go do? Oh, there's another old person. Apparently old people and children like to visit this park. It's totally cool. Oh, goodness. What's wrong with little Elijah? Oh, my. Julia! teach him how to walk. There we go. <laughs> Might as well have this be a useful adventure to the park, not just simply a fun one, right, you guys? <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Aww. This is so adorable. I like how she's in her little nightgown, even though she's out in public. Oh, well. <laughs> I could have sworn I had him change her clothes, but that's okay. That's okay. Where's Tommy going? Where are you going, Tommy? Oh, you're going to go on the seesaw. Alone. Much like your father did as a child. Oh my goodness. This one is definitely like his dad, only he's not the jock, he's the smart one, but oh my god, that's funny. Go play on the plate. Go play in the sand. That's just depressing. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah, and in case anybody happens to be wondering, um, this little sim park over here that they're visiting right now came with Generations, but I made a few alterations to it to make it a bit more fun and exciting. At least I'm pretty sure it came with Generations. Pretty sure! But, yeah. Alrighty, so it's getting pretty late for these sims, so I'm probably going to be sending them off home very soon. And then... Oh god, Christina's skinny dipping. <laughs> well, goodness. Well, my goodness. Jules, do you have the child? You have the Elijah? Where is the Elijah? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm just gonna teach him how to walk over by the tree. 
That works. That works, I guess. <laughs> well, Daniel's got work in the morning, so I should probably have them go home. But this is so amusing. I don't want to make them go home. Oh, he's tired. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna get a screenshot of Tommy playing in the sand, and then I'll send them home. How's that? <laughs> Alrighty. Tommy playing in the sand. Daniel and Julia's first grandchild right here, you guys. Can you believe this? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, so I will be back in just a little bit, and when I am, I'm pretty sure they're going to be having their party that I'm planning to throw for them. And if not, it will be something else exciting happening, I can guarantee it. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you really quick that pretty much all of the ghost cats are out. There's Merlin, there's Miss Princess, and over here haunting a chair is Duchess. There she is. She got out of the chair finally. <laughs> I don't know if Prince is going to come out tonight, but the other three are, so yeah. Alright guys, on another relatively random note, since we're going to be ending the Let's Play in this part, I just wanted to give you all a glimpse of what the family tree looks like now. Here's Daniel and Julia, here's their firstborn daughter Violet, who is now married to Andrew Kirkwood and has Sophia Kirkwood for her daughter, and then the secondborn Jared, who has Thomas, Emma, and Elijah, as you all know, since they're all in this household. And then the third child, who just got married to Anthony and hasn't gotten any kids yet. And Diana, the former imaginary friend, who is in a relationship with Christina's brother, Kevin, and had a child named Wyatt, who is apparently friendly and a heavy sleeper. So yeah, just wanted to show you all that. Okay guys, so I'm having Jared throw a party at 4pm today on Friday. And we're just inviting over all of our family members, everyone who's re who was part of this household or has married into it now or is relatives of Christina who married into, uh, yeah, into this household. And I'm throwing it at four because um, Daniel will be getting off of work at three. So I figured that it would make sense to throw it um, once he had gotten back from work because everyone else is off of work right now for today. And let's see, I'm going to have Jared go shower up. And then someone needs to feed the fishies. And Tommy just went on his first day of school, which is awesome. As it just said here. Let's see, Mr. Fluffs. Mr. Fluffs, you need love. Oh no, Mr. Fluffs. I need to give Mr. Fluffs some attention. Where is Mr. Fluffs? <laughs> Let's see, Mr. Fluff slept outside last night, out here, by all the graves of the other cats, which is kind of creepy, but, you know, what's, uh, what he did, um, <coughs> but anyway, I'm gonna have Julia wake up and go, oh, apparently she can't love up on Fluffs yet, she's not awake yet, so I'm going to have her get some food and then love up on the Fluffs, dagnabbit. Oh yeah, and I don't think I've shown off the harass world interaction that uh, Elder Sims with Canes have, so I'll be sure to do that and have Julia randomly harass the world just because she can. Um, <laughs> excuse me. And let's see, where is Elijah? He's in his crib and he needs to be fed. Alrighty, once Christina's done eating her food, she needs to get her child out of his crib to feed him. And then, where is the other one? There's the other one. Hello, Miss Emma. You need to be given some food as well. And then, by the time you're both fed, Christina should be able to start teaching Mr. Elijah how to walk or talk or something. Let's see, where's the walk? There's the walk. Alrighty. And Jules just got her retirement pension. That's good. Now where is the jewel speaking of since I need to queue her up to take care of Mr. Fluff? And what's Jared doing anyway? Jared is going to... Oh, he was going to go feed his kid, but he doesn't need to do that because his wife has that covered. So instead, I'm going to have him come over here and feed the kitties. 
And then he's going to see if there's anything in the trash can, is there? Yes, there is. Take out the trash. And then, why don't you feed the fishies? Because I feel like I've been neglecting the fish. They're probably half dead. <laughs> um, yep, there's a dead one. Oh god, I feel terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, I neglected the fish until they died. I'm, I'm terrible. Um, now where is Mr. Fluffs? Where are you, Mr. Fluffs? Uh, sure, we'll do that. Alrighty, there's Mr. Fluffs. And Julia, why are you not eating your food? You need to go eat your food, my dear. Oh my goodness. Mm, come on, Jules. Eat your cake slice. And then after you've eaten your cake slice, you need to go talk to Mr. Fluffs. And you need to hug him and pet him and call him your favorite furball. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And praise him for using the litter box like a good boy. There we go. And uh, hug him. There we go. That works. Now, Daniel, how are you doing, buddy? Hopefully he'll be getting some food soon. And what's up with Morgana? Does she need food? Yes, yeah, she needs food, but she's going to go eat up there, so she's fine. Let's see. Christina is getting little Elijah walking. That's awesome. And how is Miss Emma right now? Emma is just sort of sitting there minding her own business. So I'm going to have her dad come upstairs and teach her how to walk. Alrighty. Now, Julia, where are you? Oh good, Daniel just gave a lecture for his teaching job. Now let me see. Does your garden need any love? Oh good, it's time to get the pool party started soon. And once she's finished loving up on fluff, she's going to go tend to her garden, which has been growing very nicely, as you can probably tell. And I'm not going to bother turning on the sprinkler right now, because obviously it's raining quite a lot, so there's no real need for that. And let me see, let's get this pool party started. I invited all of the family, so hopefully everyone will be able to come. That would be absolutely fantastic if they could, because I'd like to see all the family at the very end of the Generations Let's Play, because that just makes sense, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good, you're not so lonely now, buddy. I'm glad to hear it, Mr. Jared. Oh, good, Daniel is on his way home. Why did he only earn 202 simoleons? Was he, like, late or something? I feel like he normally earns more than that. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright then. <laughs> okay! Alright, Jared. You getting that kid walking? It looks like she's almost able to walk now, if you can see that little bar over her head. Ah, hi Tommy! What's up, Tommy? Looks like you need a shower before the pool party. Why don't you go do that really quick, buddy? And let's see, then after you're done doing that, you need to get to your homework, which shouldn't take you long at all because you are a genius with kid. Oh man, let's go watch Jules with her garden. It should be entertaining. <laughs> oh no. Yay, the first guest has arrived. I don't think I clicked on Julia. No, I did not. Dag nabbit. Alrighty, and let me see, where's the ignore call? Oh my gosh, it was right there. There's the ignore call button. All right, the first guest has arrived apparently. That's awesome. Now, who is the guest? That's my question. Now, here's hoping I won't miss the interaction when I have Julia come over here and harass the world. That would be great. Now, Christina, where are you? You are upstairs with your son, the little Elijah. Now, which guest made it here first? I do not see this guest. Where is this guest? Which guest is this? Oh, this is one of the husbands of the girls. This is Andrew Kirkwood, Violet's husband. Okay. Now, what do you need, Daniel? You need some food. Go get yourself some food, my dear. Go get your food. Where did their wagon go? I don't know. Their uh, van station wagon sort of thing. Where is it? Who has it? You have it. Yay! Emma can walk now! That's fantastic! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Awesome. Alrighty, so we have one kid walking. Yay! Alrighty. Now where 
are our other guests. They should be here by now. Oh good, there's Diana! Hi Diana! Yay, it's so good to see you. Go swim. And then once you're done, Julia over there. Okay, you get to come swim now. Come swim. Oh, epic swim, pardon me. And then you hate swimming, so I'm not going to force you to swim, Jared. But I kind of want to because I feel slightly evil right now. I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hi, Diana. What's up, Diana? I haven't seen her in a while. I've seen the other two sisters, though. Oh, sure. Now he's got to go pee. Oh, well. At least Diana came and Violet's husband. But where's Violet? That's the question. I don't know where she is. Hi, Diana. She's so pretty in her little uh, swim outfit over there. And then again, she's just gorgeous anyway. Alrighty. Where are your other sisters? And where are their husbands? And why did you just change into your little speedo in the middle of the living room? <laughs> oh well. That's just what Sims do, right guys? Oh no. Oh no. Apparently you can't use the bathroom? Oh, that's right. Tommy's in the shower still. <laughs> Tommy, hurry up! Oh, goodness. Join play with water toys. Please. Um, why don't you go talk to her then? You know her. You lived in the same house with her like forever. What the heck? Jared, you totally know her. She's your sister. What the heck? What the heck, man? All right, Tommy dear, once you're done with your homework. Oh, there's Daniel swimming. You get to go swimming. Why did he have the option to fish? I'm not sure I want to know. Um, <laughs> where's Daniel? There's Daniel. Daniel's pretty tired. I probably shouldn't let him swim for too terribly long. Why is he the only one in the pool? Why is Daniel the only cool one? Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Why are you the only cool one, Daniel? Go make a big splash, buddy. Go make a big splash. Now, where's Jules? Did she finish with the garden yet? Nope. Okay, I'm determined to not miss the interaction. <gasps> Sophie! Oh my gosh, hi Sophie! Hi Sophie! Hello! Oh yeah, and it's just a reminder to all of you guys, I'm going to have each of the Sim households who were part of this household up on the exchange. So for example, Sophie and her new husband will be up on the exchange. Violet and her family will be up on the exchange. Diana will be on the exchange. Everybody in this household will be on the exchange. Sweet! Elijah knows how to walk now. Yay! Aw! Sophie and Diana and their mom are all in the garden together. I have to get a screenshot of this, you guys! This is so cute and adorable and awesome! Oh my goodness. Oh, hi, Mr. Fluffs! Mr. Fluffs is over in the corner and so is Morgana. <laughs> oh my. Alrighty, I think I just put the walls up so it wouldn't look so strange. And there's the girls. Hi, girls. Gosh, Sophie's hair is so pretty. I love her really, really uber, uber long. I don't know why I said uber. Uber long pink hair is the bestest thing ever. Holy cow. Hello, tree. Why is Mr. Fluffs going over there? One would think he wouldn't want to get anywhere near that because there's so much water everywhere. And not gonna lie, cats do not like water very much at all. Well, most of them don't. Some of them are different from the others and do like water, but most of them are like, water? Nope. Come on, Simses. Come on, do something exciting. Diana's playing with the sprinkler, so that's awesome. Now, let's see. Why is Morgana going in there too now? I don't know. Oh, well. Whatever floats their boats. Whatever floats their boats. All right, now, Julia, I want to see you harass the world. Oh, God. Gosh, someone's hitting on someone. Mary Morrison, Christina's mother, was hitting on someone. I'm not sure I want to know who. <laughs> oh, dear. Hi, Fluffs. Are you going to say hi to Sophie? Say hi to Sophie, Mr. Fluffs. Say hi to Sophie. Okay, Sophie's heading home now. Well, it was really nice to see you, Soph. All right, let's see. Where is... Um, Where's Violet? Did she come? I don't know if she came. I'm going to check. Let's see. Where's Daniel? Alright, he's going to head to bed right now, but let's see if... Um, whoops! Did not mean to go into the ground. 
Let's see, Violet's husband is here, but I still don't see her, so that's sad. But at least we got to see her earlier. And let's see, there's Emma on the floor. And Jared's hiding out over there in the kitchen. Diana's leaving. Goodbye, Diana. Someone else is leaving. Goodbye, guesties. It was nice to see you. Where is everybody else? No one came to the party, really. Oh, it was a modest success. I guess that's a good thing. Now, where's the Julia? Are you done yet? No, you're not gonna pee yet. You need to harass the world and then you get to pee. <laughs> oh, Julia. Julia, harass the world. There we go. There we go. Now, she looks super epic, guys. Oh my gosh, those sunglasses and that cane and the fact that it's nighttime is great. Hurrah! <laughs> She looks so cranky, I love it! <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, Julia. Now run! Run to the bathroom! Run, Jules, run! Oh my gosh, run. Run! Is she gonna make it? Oh! Awkward. Awkward. She's totally not gonna make it. And Christina's in here. And oh dear. Um. Yeah! Okay, so Julia just peed her pants in front of her daughter-in-law. <laughs> oh gosh. Aww! I just noticed something, guys. This is what we're going to end the LP on because Jules peeing herself is just sad. Um, but she seems to do that a lot now that she's old. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I just noticed that little Tommy over here is brushing Miss Morgana. So we're going to get a screenshot of this without the light in the way. And that is how this Let's Play is going to end. Alright you guys, I'm going to be ending this part and this Let's Play here. I hope that you all enjoyed it and please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And I would like to thank all of you so much for the support and love that this Let's Play has gotten. And I just, it's just blown me away. So thank you very, very much for that. And I will be seeing you all in The Sims 4.